You're a screenwriter, but your pitches are deadly dull. I'm gonna tell you three things you're doing all wrong right now. So what's wrong with your pitching technique? Few things. Number one, you are vastly overstaying your welcome. Number two, you haven't written this thing out in your own natural speaking voice. You're using some sort of hybrid narrator, podcaster, special voice to do this. And number three, you're giving them way too much detail. Let's also never forget the fact that you're a writer and you really don't want to be there in the first place, right? Hard facts. Nobody alive ever became a writer because they want to go out and pitch stories because they wanted to go out and be a salesperson. Well, sad reality check. You got to do it. What's the better news out of the equation? If you love what you're doing, if you really invest in your stories and you really care, you love them, it's never going to feel like a sales job ever one day in your life. We all got to do it. So let's figure out how to do it together. Hey, so what's that first reason that your pitches aren't working right now? A lot of times it turns out to be as simple as you use too many character names and you confuse them. What I try to do is I'll use the name and the type of the character. They're not going to remember who Jillian or Jimmy or Jojo or Jerry is as you're going through your pitch, but they're going to remember Jacqueline, the obnoxious pastry chef or Aaron, the buff carpenter. Attach a type to the name and they will really appreciate it and you won't risk losing them. Number two, you lost them with just too much detail. Here's the dirty little secret about pitching and the most important thing you're going to hear about it. Pitching is not about telling your full story. It's about creating a smaller, streamlined sales document version of that story that you present. A pitch is not your story. It's a streamlined sales document. It's easier, it's less intelligent, it's more digestible, and it's what they can soak in in the allotted time that you've got to give them the pitch. One of the greatest tricks you will ever learn in pitching is how to lose the detail from it without losing the spirit. Never pitch your story. Always pitch your sales tool. Number three, you failed to rehearse. You might think of yourself as somebody who can be cool in a room and go in and handle it. You might think you're the Miles Davis of screenwriters out there doing the job, and maybe you are, but the rest of us need to rehearse. The reason for it is we don't want to take the chances that this room that we go into this time, which could be the buyer, is the one where we're just not on. Better to rehearse, script it out, and go for it in that way. I write pitches out in my own voice, and I rehearse them six times, 12 times, 15 times on the day before I'm gonna go into a room. And by the time I sit in that chair, it's like I'm just singing along with some song I have heard way too many times on the radio. You might not appreciate it the day that you spend rehearsing full voice, out loud, full pitch, but you will definitely appreciate it the second your ass is in that seat and you are about to pitch for your life. Go enjoy and go get it. Really appreciate you being here today. If you enjoyed any of this or if any of it was helpful for you, would really love it if you could like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out as we're trying to grow. We're trying to build a free unlimited resource for screenwriters, tips, tricks, techniques, and actual live demos all right here for free. We also have our Jeff Howard sessions, which are classes and programs and reads and consults. The information for which is available in the links down below. Hope to see you there sometime. Really enjoy being here. Thanks a lot and good luck to all of us.